guys, Stefan here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna talk about one of the most anticipated and most controversial uh, fragrance releases uh, of the year. Uh, this one is no other than Creed Aventus Cologne, which is a flanker of uh, the all-known Aventus. And in this video I'm gonna share my opinion uh, with you guys about this new release. Got the bottle here, very nice, straight out of France. The bottle is actually really fantastic, like the new design, really awesome, like the grey, like the white, awesome. Um, the bottle is not that much different than uh, the regular Aventus, uh, it's just uh, grey and yeah, uh, by the way, uh, the Creed um, logo is um, silver painted, uh, on the photos I always thought it's clear, but it's silver painted actually. Okay, um, by the way guys, uh, I'm really sorry for you uh, from... Uh, the US because in the US Creed uh, really has ridiculous pricing. Uh, I saw that it's $435 uh, dollars for 100 ml of uh, Aventus Cologne and in France uh, you can get it for like uh, 190 euros which should equal something like 200, yeah, 250 dollars maybe. I don't know the real exchange cost but yeah Let's give this one a spray, guys. Sprayer is fantastic with all of the creeds. No problems here. And first, uh, you definitely smell the Aventus DNA in there. It smells like a fruity uh, modern batch of Aventus with a little creaminess in the opening. I don't get a mandarin blast, uh, many people say they get a mandarin blast, but the opening is very pleasant um, and it's really nice, reminds me a lot of the newer batches of Aventus with a little bit more creaminess uh, attached to it. Um, <laughs> as this fragrance progresses, uh, after like 10-15 minutes, you definitely get a Chanel Allure on Sport wipe or a Versace Pour on wipe. Um, which is pretty much disappointing because it's such a uh, such a popular fragrance, Allure Sport, that you smell it everywhere, and I can't understand why Creed um, copied this one. I mean, Creed is kind of a clone house, anyways. Uh, they clone so many fragrances. For example, Himalaya is a clone of uh, Paco Rabanne uh, XS Pour Homme. Uh, Santal, original Santal is a clone of um, Mont Blanc Individuel and the list goes on and on. Hmm. Uh, Creed Viking uh, is a clone of, uh, how is it called, uh, Lanarchist, um, but yeah. Um, Mugler Cologne, <laughs> there is a clone, uh, original Vetiver. Um, what other clones did they do? Green Irish Sweet and uh, Cool Water, for example. Uh, but uh, it's uh, discussable if Olivier Creed really was the perfumer behind uh, Green Irish Sweet. So, um, yeah, the opening is really pleasant, really Aventus DNA like, a little bit more creamy than uh, regular batches, minus that pineapple vibe. Then it smells for like 30 minutes uh, like Chanel Allure on Sport mixed with some Avento, uh, Aventus undertones uh, and then it's uh, a really um, fruity mid of a regular Aventus batch in my opinion. It smells kind of yeah like the modern batches uh, in the mid stage um, and it's really pineapple heavy in that section especially I don't know why. Uh, then the birch comes in and it's it's really like the Aventus base, uh, but here it is in the mid, uh, and the base uh, of Aventus Cologne is strange because, in my opinion, it just smells really, really, really aquatic, and you get hints of unpleasant ambroxan, 
um, which reminds you of something like uh, Mont, Blanc, uh, Mont Blanc Explorer. Uh, so yeah, this, this basically smells like a clone of Aventus. Aventus and Chanel Allure on Sport, which is not a bad thing. Uh, but the pricing is ridiculous, even uh, the 190 euros uh, in, in Germany or France is crazy. Longevity for this one is kind of okay um, compared to other Creeds that I bought recently. I, I'm a huge Creed fanboy, but uh, recently I got really disappointed with the performance. Uh, I got a Millisim Imperial, which was batch 18k11 and it faded away within one hour. Uh, now I have it like two months and it performs now two to three hours. Um, same happened with my Aventus. Uh, it, performance was ridiculous uh, in the beginning. And uh, now I get a solid uh, six to eight hours uh, out of this one after a year macerating in the bottle. Um, so for this one uh, it's quite okay. Um, five to six hours and I think that it will improve uh, smell wise, sillage wise and uh, performance wise. Would I recommend you to buy this one, guys? Honestly, no. Unless uh, you're a Creed fanboy as me, and maybe um, if the reactions get positive over time, it could be an investment, but honestly, I see no point getting this one because it's not better than Aventus, um, and it smells too much of a designer scent, um, and the DNA that we all know, okay? I mean, you could just spray Aventus, two sprays, and one spray on uh, Chanel Allure Sport, and maybe <laughs> just some uh, Mont Blanc Explorer uh, for the for the fruitiness and the Umbrox kick. But yeah, guys, I don't know what to say. I'm kind of glad that I have it because uh, it's a nice addition uh, for the Creed line because it's really sporty and stuff. Uh, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was too hyped for this one and now I'm kind of meh. Yeah, compare it with the original Aventus, as I said, um, it clearly has the Aventus DNA for sure. Yeah, guys, that's it. By the way, I don't smell any Styrex in there and I love Styrex. Uh, the dry one is really just aquatic and Ambroxan to the fullest and it's really cheap. Really cheap smelling base. Okay, guys, that's it. <laughs> See you on another episode. This is your Stefan. See you and bye bye. Ciao, ciao.